it's an amazing operation we have going here. We've been doing it for a long time now, since 2006. We've caught 232 manatees to our credit. The process is pretty straightforward. We have a capture boat that has a, a net on it. And we, we basically watch manatees come and go from that beach area. We deploy the net. Lead line on the bottom, it kind of drags the substrate, put line on top, it's made from one over. Basically, we're forming a wall around the manatee. We're basically just seeing as a team, seeing the manatee to the beach. The outbound approaching our 3 o'clock right now. Up the bow there, boat, heading towards us. Oh, I don't know. On the edge of my seat there, you can see it. Roger. All right, let's go ahead and move out. We're moving out. It's up at our uh, 2 o'clock in the next set. Small adult. Nice, these yeah, there's two. 11 and 12. You know, the initial as they're coming in, I know that's going to end yeah. because it only takes a few minutes of that and then they really calm down. Without sedation, they calm down on their own. So I always keep that in mind. I'm rolling, rolling. Good size animal. So the manatees will put up this initial fight. And then once they're restrained and they understand, they become compliant. They help us out by being very passive. They're doing that not because they like us. This is their defense mechanism for being tidally cast. They're just used to waiting for that tide to come back in and float them back out. So we manipulate that operation by taking these animals and we can do the assessments. We do a quick assessment on the manatee. We put them in a health tent. We look at all the different variables involved in the manatee's health and well-being. And then we can actually quantify our results and look at that information and determine whether or not their status is healthy. Hey, you got another one. Yes. It's a recapture, so it's a known animal. We've handled it before. Okay. And now we can check the records and see exactly when we did it. We get another set of data from this animal. So we're really excited about this. You gotta induce a breath so they don't hold all that CO2. How does that work? So you, you just dump the water and it, it in, induces a breath like what they would do when they break the surface. So you're just trying to get them, a lot of them will hold their breath and they're breath. nervous or disturbed. So. One, two, three. Breath! Just be careful about the tail, okay? Brad? So how long have you been doing this? This is my first time actually helping out with the health assessments. I've done one other rescue, um, Lake Tarpon was my first rescue. I'm a in-water tour guide, so I swim with these guys all the time. So we've got a hammerhead shark. And then where, do you have a manatee on the other arm? No, no, no manatees yet. What the yet. heck? Yet, keyword. Yeah. Exactly. One, two, three. <laughs> so I'm bring it. Oh, okay, okay. Ready? One, two, three. Up, breath. Center. Nice. Yep, something. Yep. Oh, yeah. Take a breath. One fifteen on the CO two.